Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez of TheMovieWizard.com and let's talk about Sailor Moon Stars. Well, really, it's Sailor Stars, but apparently Viz Media has renamed it to Sailor Moon Stars. In case you don't keep up on the whole Sailor Moon thing on Hulu, Monday's Viz dubs Moon Day. And that's because on Mondays, they have two new episodes, whether they be dubbed or subbed, most of the time subbed, because dubs take a while to make, and they post them on Hulu, and I... Does, Crunch, does Crunchyroll have the original Sailor Moon series? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to check that out later on. And this Monday saw the day that many of us Sailor Moon fans honestly never thought we would see. And that is that Sailor Stars is available to view legally in America for the very first time. This is the long-lost fifth season to American Shores, where there's been some debate whether or not the series was um, denied American release or simply made unavailable. I personally think it's a little bit of both, because Sailor Stars was also the most mature and darkest of all the Sailor Moon series. Considering Sailor Moon has always been a property primarily made for kids in America, Stars would have been very complicated to dub because of the Sailor Galaxa, the gender-bending Three Lights, which don't call me homophobic, it was always a bad idea, even the creator admits that there was no reason for the anime to change the starlight from women who gender-bended to male and, and female over her original intention, which was for them to disguise themselves as men and always be female, so uh, save those comments. Um, and of course, the final episode, which any Sailor Moon fan has seen it, knows that it's not nearly as big a deal as some people make it out to be, but it's still not appropriate for most kids. Even in Japan, it was apparently a little bit of an issue. All of these complications meant that I believe most studios, um, if they made bids for the series or the season, however you want to classify it, they didn't make a huge offer, and Toei Animation was likely reluctant to let them have it. Well, the times, they are changing, and it is now officially on Hulu. Here is a screenshot of it, and uh, by the way, uh, Hulu, you're going to need to change that TV PG rating to TV 14 at the very least at this point. I think um, you're going to get a lot of complaints if you don't. And finally, Sailor Moon fans who might not be as tech-savvy as some other anime fans can finally see the final season of Sailor Moon. This is also a big deal to people who watch the show on Toonami because if I remember, Sailor Moon aired its last episode of Toonami, uh, Sailor Moon Super S, in 2001, if I recall. And Sailor Moon Super S was the only Sailor Moon season to technically have a cliffhanger. So, <laughs> this uh, conclusion has been a long time coming for some people. However, I also notice a few changes with this uploading of Sailor Stars. Most of the time, Viz Media uploads two episodes of Sailor Moon every Monday. This time, they have uploaded one. I think they are doing this because Sailor Stars is technically new to America, and they want to milk it for what it's worth. I don't blame them, by the way. In fact, really, they probably should have been doing one episode a week this whole time. They probably could have gotten more mileage out of the series. And of course at the moment you can only see it subtitled because I think the dub has fallen behind. It's been a couple months since we got the last dubbed episode of Sailor Moon R which is the second season and we're still waiting for Sailor Moon S dubbed episodes and I'm not sure if that's because they're just slow on the dub or it's because they took some time off to dub Sailor Moon Crystal um, which uh, that might have been another good reason to try a different cast for the Crystal dub, but that's another topic for another video. The bottom line is I never thought this day would come. For some reason, Sailor Stars always seemed like it was just going to be out of reach to people unless you were willing to steal it or import expensive laser discs and VHS tapes. The fact that Americans can officially and legally watch it makes me very happy. So, what do you folks think? Do you want to see Sailor Stars? Is this a big day for you? Do you not care? I'd like to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good day.